All right, excuse the mess, but uh, I'm gonna make a quick video here, just some tips um, I have for my 4x8 uh, next-gen right CNC here. Um, right now, I just hit a snag. I was going to install the Z-axis, and I don't have any of the screws I need. Uh, it, I guess they didn't send them. So I have to go get uh, 16 of those today, and I can install that, but... Um, uh, you know, this is probably going to be specific for the 4x8 table, mainly because they don't have any, you know, videos on connecting the two parts or, you know, the cable trays or um, kind of what hardware to use. So I'm just going to go through this real quick. Um, first of all, when you're, you, you can build the two 4x4 frames, okay? Um, and then when you actually go to connect them, um, these are going to be the brackets. Um, we looked for them. We were like, how the hell do we do this? Um, so this is just an L bracket um, that goes, um, bolts to the side there. Um, another, another thing we got stumped on here was, so this is the front of the machine with the writing. And then you, you put your... Um, your I guess it's the stop switch or whatever here. And there's an L bracket that goes on the corner. Um, the other L bracket also goes on the front here on just the other side. Um, that was another kind of like we didn't know where that went. Um, the other thing, it's going to come with a shit ton of these whatever they are, 3 8 bolts. Um, and there's some longer ones and there's some short ones. Well, we went through thinking that, you know, we use all the, the short ones and then we come across something like, you know, this, for instance, it's once it's three layers, essentially, that is when you use the longer bolt. Um, so like these are only two layers. You don't need the longer bolt. Um, but uh, for example, over here, when you install the control box, um, down here, that's three layers because um, the foot, uh, the leveling foot gets mounted in there. So just be aware of, you know, anything that is three layers deep, I guess, if you will, that will use the longer bolts. Um, so yeah, I think also down here where you connect, for instance, um, you connect the two tables here that use the longer bolts the bottom use the longer bolts. Um, I still feel like I was short a couple longer bolts. Um, but, you know, I had some stuff around the shop here. Uh, another thing, leveling. I haven't exactly leveled this yet. I have to, um, my shop is so slanted. I have to uh, cut the, well here. I have to cut the leveling or the stud they welded on the leveling foot. And I got some all thread um, to to extend that. No, I mean, no big deal. Just something to think about if your shop is, you know, nowhere near level like mine is. That I mean, it's close right there. But you can see, like, yeah, center support leg. Well, that doesn't look really any different. But, yeah, I got a hell of a lean in here. Um, the front's basically all the way down. And the back needs a lot more. So something else to think about. Um, let me think what else I got going on here. Um, I'll just kind of do a, a pan of, of everything. You know, this is the, I would call it the front uh, control box side. Um, this is probably where you're gonna zero out, right? Zero X and Y is gonna be in the front left here. Um, so yeah, control box. Here's the cable tray. I think this is right. This is, again, this is with my four by eight. It had two of these brackets. There is that gap there. Um, I was missing a bunch of these screws as well, so I have to go get some of those. Um, it's uh, another thing, I guess we didn't watch the video good enough. It's every fourth screw. I was also missing a couple of these screws, um, maybe five or so to bolt the linear rails on. Um, has these stops that go here. Um, and instead, like on the back here, instead of an L bracket, it's these, it's, it's a flat bracket that the T-slot bolts into. Um, 
Let's see. The linear rails, when you're positioning them, uh, you start with them all the way up to the, the limiting switch here. And you'll see that it actually, if this is the center of the table, it overlaps forward. Um, and this is what I'm gonna need to work on the alignment on is, is these, um, the, uh, the meshing of those two things. I wish that was a solid piece because that's gonna take maybe a little tweaking and it could cause maybe some issues. Um, but I think once the table's level, I'll loosen all those back up and I'll, you know, move the gantry down and tighten, um, tighten those as I go. Um, you know, here the limiting switch goes up here. That also gets butted up against this um, uh, gusset. Um, so you can do this gusset and then you can do the limiting switch bracket. Then the rails butt up to the um, limiting uh, switch bracket. Uh, and then before you install this gusset, slide your um, your bearings on because I, I installed this and then I had to remove it, um, which was kind of a pain in the ass. Um, let me think what else I got going on here. Um, yeah, just the leveling feet. Really it was those longer bolts um, for the framework. That was super irritating. Um, also, I feel like I need to make a gusset. They told me that there's, or a spacer, I guess. They told me there's no spacer that goes right there. Um, and if you see, you know, it looks like these are eighth inch, so quarter inch. If you think about it, run a quarter inch worth of uh, washers through there, which is what I think I'm gonna do, or I'm just gonna cut some flat bar, um, probably actually, because washer's gonna protrude up. But, um, it just seems like that that needs a spacer. Like if you sit there and crank on it, uh, it's gonna bow in for sure. Um, yeah, the trays here, pretty self-explanatory. I watched the video, it was, it was real easy. Um, the frames, the long piece goes across the, sh the four foot side of the table and then the, the two um, shorter pieces go, or I guess it's the four shorter pieces go up and down um, there. Um, yeah, uh, I think that's that's kind of where I'm at. I, I'm hopefully gonna get some, um, some screws from my wife here uh, on her way home. I live up in the mountains and it takes me basically an hour round trip to, to go to the store, so. And I already went once today and it, uh, it's kind of irritating. But yeah, I mean, I, I have what I got going on here is I had my Z axis apart and I looked and I was like, well, shit, those are countersunk. Uh, I think they're M4, uh, 10 millimeter cause the, the uprights are 12 millimeter. Um, and it's a, and, and the actual Z axis mounting plate is two millimeters, um, thinner. So I think I need 16 of those. Um, you had to take the cover off to bolt the, the Z axis up, but yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm sitting here looking at my hardware packs. I've, I've been missing, you know, quite a few, um, even if it was like five screws or whatever, um, it hasn't been, uh, super, <laughs> super handy, uh, yet. So, uh, yeah, I'll just, um, I'll, I'll end the video here. Um, just panning the machine in case anyone just has any questions. I'll be around messing with it the rest of the day today and tomorrow. And, uh, and hopefully it will be up and running shit. I mean, I'm hoping tomorrow, um, I can start moving the thing. It's just missing these fucking screws has been killer. So, um, overall I'm pretty uh, satisfied with the frame. Everything, I mean, it, when I cinched everything down and checked for square, at least, it was um, pretty dead nuts on, just without any real tweaking. Um, and so, yeah, all, and every, all the fitment is great um, so far for a bolt-together table. Um, I haven't seen any uh, real uh, fitment issues yet. So, um, overall, I'm super happy and... Uh, you know, the screws thing, that's just another irritation, but it's, uh, you know, it comes with the territory of buying a, 
a hobby or a budget, you know, machine. It's not, um, it's not a hundred percent. So, uh, cool. All right. I'm gonna leave you here and, uh, hit me up if you have any questions.